Greetings, everyone. Hello and very welcome back to, well, Anno 1800 to our glorious city. It's not often that I start in the industry zone. This time, though, I do because, well, we are going to have big plans for this sexy district. I've already started migrating or moving some of those buildings a bit further outside, the lesser buildings, right? Um, also separating it with a wall nicely over there to hide it a bit. And yeah, well, also we got a few ruins there close by. And I would like to continue now with my a bit of restructuring here. So I want to get, of course, my electricity going. This is the most important thing. And this is the most important project for this episode. Before we start with that, however, I would still like to get a few more building materials over to my latest island, Mellow Island it is. And over there, of course, this is going to be one of my bulwark islands, we could call it, right? It's pretty strategic for me. It's very important that we have a good defense cracking over here. So we are going to get a few of these building resources over. And I'm probably going to need two clippers for that. We do have a mast, <laughs> a mast, a bit of steel beams there again. And of course, we're going to use that for the next flamethrower towers that I would like to have in this area. Uh, flamethrowers for now, anti-armor uh, at some point later, once we have the advanced weapon production going. Off it goes with those beautiful, beautiful ships, really. Uh, fast and agile, and they get the materials done as well now in that case we have a rather good corner for us right now right it's almost properly secured we have no war with the pirate at the moment um, we have those three islands now kind of like in a triangle secured for us that is also heavily fortified and yeah well this is just where we we kind of like make our base right so it doesn't matter to me how strong miss hunt is going to get at some point or the admiral we're going to make a nice bulwark out of that where we can then just safely continue building our our city that is all i want to for now now before we continue with the trains as well so the clippers are on the way right before we do that we still need to move a few buildings around and we do have the brick factories now my goal is to have two big industrial zones working in panagos at some point the main zone of course is going to be here in the industrial harbor and the second important one by the way wait a second there is a there's actually some sewing machine factories without a warehouse and i think it's this one here that is not being used right now and this is one, right? And then we have also another major industry zone that's probably going to be situated over there, a bit further away in the mountain area. And for that reason, we are going to, well, move a few buildings around now. We could also argue that this is a very good industry zone because we are already going to place some dirty building on it, which is the oil springs, right? And with that, we actually have some pollution here already. So why not actually... Yeah, why not actually make this one my next industrial zone? For that, we are starting with moving the brick factories around a bit. And this we are trying to, yeah, make a bit efficient here from the get-go, right? So I definitely want to have a nice triple road somewhere over here. We're definitely going to need a wall at some point, And we could actually start with that already. I would like to separate this from my, from my main... Um, city by some nice walls so we have the walls starting then here along the along the river more or less right separating this one also the sides of it it's not a pretty a pretty district that we're going to have here and we're just going to make sure that we are having a nice road all the way then down here also we need to make sure that of course the trains can still pass through this is going to be another important uh, factor here let's just see what we can do there Let's actually build this right away. And the cool thing about those is they're actually giving me attractiveness right away. So I don't need to worry about that, right? So the more I build of them, the more attractiveness we get. They also have a cute little pavement beside them where people can walk around, right? Just enjoying the day and just not enjoying the sights because this is the, the purpose of that, of course, because here we're going to have a nice city a district then. And here we're going to have the next bigger industry zone. And yeah, it's going to get dirty here. So let's just enjoy and marvel the greenery because that's not going to last. <laughs> let's just have this one then also going here. And I think that's enough for now with that wall. I mean, it's not really looking pretty, is it? Let's make this a bit better. Right, so we could make it like so. The less curves, let's call it curves, the better really because the game is not that great when handling curves along rivers. And with that, we have a bit more buffer zone here where we can actually keep the trees. Why not? 
And here, that's where the train is passing through them. Uh, let's actually go back real quick to my clippers because they have arrived. And of course, they will provide the next two flamethrowers. Let's also get those building materials off board. We already have an upgraded trade union or trade post. So I will be able to just build two more flamethrowers than here as well. More? I might actually go for another one here and another one. Perfect. That's not even close to enough, I think. But it'll do for now. And with that, as we can also see, it goes all the way to this area. And those are going this area. Yeah, there's basically no pass through here now when it comes to ships. So it's getting very hard for them to actually get through here. Uh, we will have to do the same thing with 2V. Uh, upgrading the harbor defenses for that as well. I think there's actually a nice little fleet coming our way already. We'll just see. We are prepared. Testing the grounds, I guess they are. All right. Problem uh, with my track system is we have a bit of a ride here at the moment, a ride situation. So I might want to consider upgrading my police station there, uh, having a second one. We have new police stations and urban um, firefighters, but for now it's a bit hard for me to implement them when the cost is so high. Let's just try to have them here. They're already working on that, um, but we are going to need that because, yep, I cannot remove these buildings yet and they're actually mandatory if I want to get my track system on the way. Alright, let's take the brick factories now and we are going to slowly move them over. Let's actually have them on that side and have the less polluting buildings than on that side. And trust me, we're going to need a lot of additional industrial space. Because there's, we are only just beginning, really, once we enter investors and skyscrapers, it's getting crazy with the demands. So let's just have them here. I might actually make this a bit cleaner looking. Let's get the lumberjack over and have the, the brick factories then here. Oh, and, and Harlow actually likes my military progress. I like it too, and There you go. So that we have at least two of these warehouses. Let's also have an upgraded version of them right away. And this one here has then the lumberjacks that we want. Now that's just perfect. All incidents are gone in this area. So I can now start moving some of those buildings around. And we will need to do that. So a bit further outside probably. And also here. Yep, we're destroying the symmetry of that block. That is though totally fine. As no city is built or based on symmetry. Let's go ahead and get rid of those roads here because we're going to need this for a nice track system. It's only three, we need four. So we'll also need to get rid of this whole row there that we can just, yeah, probably safely move to one of the other areas for now. Also to my Central Park area then. So right now they probably don't like it too much, but they're going to like it at some point. Um, let's also, no, this is fine. This is a nice hold that we have now. And we continue with those guys here. Uh, of course, once again, another riot here. This is a very uprising district that we have there. People are not really happy about that. Problem is, workers are not particularly happy right now. They're probably missing something. There's no school in this district. We might, we might consider that. Mm, Chapel-wise, we also don't have a chapel in this area. So let's do that for these guys. Having a smaller chapel might help us out. Yes, it increases farmer happinesses for sure. These guys don't have everything they could really wish for. So stop rioting, please. Let's actually also repair some of the damages that we already have. All right, to get that attractiveness up again. Despite a big industry zone, by the way, we are we're looking rather fine on attractiveness for the moment. Just the Admiral's ships passing by. Miss Hunt's fleet is still on the way to us. Ah, uh, she's gathering here. Might actually turn into that harp area there. Let's go ahead and have some more defenses than here. For the de defenses, we could keep a bit of a symmetry there. So let's have three on either side of that key. This will be fine. Uh, boosting my military score. To what exactly, Anne Harlow? Yes, we have pushed a buffer again, which is important, really. All right, by the way, there's Eli. I cannot reroll yet. Where are they going exactly? No, they're still going to that gathering spot. So nothing there I can do really. And I wanted to... There they are. Also reinforce to V. 
Um, also, we got some depots here. The export office number three, I'm definitely going to add. And we should also go for these landing piers that we have, right? Or loading wharfs, because this is pretty important for speeding up the trading. A few more uh, depots then as well, increasing my uh, attractiveness and also my maximum storage of up to a thousand now. Uh, yeah, for more defenses though, we need more steel beams there once more. Now, I think the rides are gone again. Perfect. So we can continue with the moving of people. And those guys here. Actually, they have a nice little, look at that. Nice little square though still for them, right? And this opens up more space. So this is just what you have in every common city, really, right? You're kind of cutting in to the, the zones here, to the already residential zones or also to the industrial zones to build something new. Let's get rid of this road there so we can move those a bit further over there to make room for even more space here for a proper a proper track system that goes then all the way up here. Um, probably carves then into that zone there and then all the way perfect into my oil space. Miss Hans Fleet, in the middle of the night, she's starting her attack, it seems. We might just enjoy that because she's definitely getting wrecked there, I think. It, it depends on how well upgraded her ships are, but I don't think she stands much of a chance there, especially against eight flamethrowers. That's just a very good defense all around. Let's get them up there a bit. And there she's moving in, yeah. Actually, it's more ships than I thought it would be. Let's try to stay in the safety of the harbor area. Let's stop the trading from going in and out right now. You can also stop over there. Let's just see what she's doing. Diverting back again, it seems. She's not quite sure what she wants to achieve here, it seems. Alright, that's disappointing. I was hoping for... A bit of a fa uh, a bit of a battle there. I guess her original intention was to attack this harbor area, but since I moved it, she kind of like changed her mind to Panagos, main capital. But of course, she's not going to to dare attacking this for now. Of course, we still need to be careful. She could always change her course again. This gives me now time finally to yeah really do it. Honestly, this time we are. We are in it, in for it, for the train system. Still need to move those here a bit further away, right? So we're probably going to have a bit of a gap here between the mine and the, the warehouse, but it's really tiny, right? So it's just going to be this one, and we no longer need those roads here, really. Doesn't look good anyway. Right. And that's it. Let's get all the way up here and start with the oil refinery. We are a bit low on steel beams, so let's try to... I mean, she is backing off further. Yep, purchasing some more steel beams from Arch is always a great idea too. So I was not expecting to get all of the oil fills in with one refinery, so we're going ahead with uh, two of them. One we can squeeze in safely into this area. Let's make sure that we do have some building space available though for other buildings then as well. So I'm going to push this as far down here to the south as possible because this way we can still add some buildings then in here. And then we have the second one that we can safely squeeze into this oil field there as well. They are going to be connected, of course, with the track system. So I could have one track already going down here. This needs to be a single track only. And we're going to basically get as close to the cliffs there as possible. And then we have the second track system here going along the wall already. All the way over to that side here. Let's just make sure that we have this parallel. There they are. Right. And here they kind of like merge together then. Uh, let's make sure that... We can actually get out of here. This looks fine, right? So we can make then a nice bridge here. Unfortunately, as we already know, the game does not really allow uh, two bridges too close together. So we have to separate here for a short time. And actually, let's calculate that in from the beginning. I'm going to get rid of this one again. Make it down like that. This looks much cleaner, I think. And the same goes with this area so we're just going to go up to that point right and then we're making the connection here with that system here we can though make then the exchange so where the tracks can also change around um then they're coming out on that side that's fine and here they're getting a bit closer now to each other right so we're going to make it like this way 
and now it's those two together. And now begins the begins the the, the challenge of getting all of this to the oil harbor. Then we're going to need an oil harbor down here. Hmm. I think that we have a bit of a problem again. Let's get rid of those sand mines. Can we still not do this? Uh, what's going on? This should be possible, really. There is plenty of space here. Ah, over here it's possible. We should still be able to use those sand mines. Perfect, we are. We can keep them. We can keep the oil harbor then in this area. And it goes then from here all the way up. And also, this one starts then from two tracks right away. That are going to, of course, be connected. And they just go up then all the way here along the mountain. Passing the, uh, that mine here. And every single inch here matters really since this is my industry zone and it's just very expensive getting all of this then override so we're just circling around the the miner really we're going up then probably not going to look super ideal because i don't want to waste too much space all right there we have the mine system then uh this is too much we're going further than all the way here and I think this makes the connection then already. This looks good to me. Uh, actually, let's make it like that. And then we have the other one too. There you go. The reason why we want to keep this double, of course, I'm expecting a lot of traffic coming out of these. Right? So not only are we going to have industrial trains on these tracks, we're also going to have public transportation on them. And this is what makes it so important here to me. To actually get this right now there is a bit of a finicky thing right so if i want to make this double we actually need to make the tracks because i want to have the tracks at parallel all the time we can't do the same thing with the roads unfortunately so the roads need a bit of a distance towards each other right so my idea is that we have this one then here this one and then we have this one here going all the way down right so there is a bit of a, a gap in between but that's okay and then we continue all the way now up. And here we actually prepared everything already properly. We need to get rid of this triple road there again. All the way, all the way up. That's a lot of steel beams. We're actually running out of steel beams at this point. So I might need to wait on the finishing the double track system and focus on just one track for, for the moment, right? Because we are really lacking steel once more. I'm hoping that electricity makes things a bit better. Uh, we do have a lot of these steel works here. Not that much steel, unfortunately. Oh, we have a lot of steel. You should not be waiting on that. We're already boosting them by 50. Uh, we don't need the same thing with the weapons anymore, though. But the steel beams, I will bo continue boosting there. Also with that. We don't have anything else, right? No, not for the moment. I'm starting to boost them with items here pretty soon. Just realized, by, by the way, there is still an iron deposit available. Did I delete the mine accidentally? It might be the case. We should be using all nine of them now. We can also quickly check it out by just hovering over the mine. We got nine of them for now. And for the coal, we got six coal mines. And that's all the deposits that we have then on Panagos. Unfortunately, Archie does not have the steel beams that we need. For the moment. Morning Dew is getting over there and you can actually return to my harbor, please. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change productivity to 50% for the ore um, in both ways, right? This will make my workers not that happy, um, but we do need the additional income of that. With that, I can build now the remaining furnaces that I've prepared. Uh, let's just make sure it's those guys here. Here I'm probably going to need... Uh, let's see that we can move it down a bit. And then this one, oh, this is problematic because of that space. But we can do this. We can move those over, right? With that, I don't need that road here anymore. And we can basically move this one now over here too. And I don't even need to keep the distance there as we can just make it like so. Perfect. With that, we can build even more furnaces now into this area here. Oh, we lost the clipper. Thanks to the Admiral. He's really swimming around here quite often. Uh, we might destroy his we might destroy his 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 stay there with my own ships. Because this is of course unacceptable. I'm still hesitant though to use my ships on the on the open ocean there 
all the time because it's so easy to lose them quickly to a surprise attack. And look at how much damage one of them can take. Once they're fully upgraded, it's getting harder and harder. A bit of loot. I'm hoping for some advanced weapons here. Alright. The cool thing is also the NPCs right now are also quite often at war with the pirate. And the pirate is pretty strong. So that leads to us not being a target at all. Right. So this also makes it safer for us and we can focus more on city building oh my goodness another legendary item commodore is Stephen drake the besieger a damage per shot increased damage from torpedoes cannons and big berthas reduced by 20 percent flat out also nice expedition bonus there let's get this one back home there very good item going to reserve it of course then also for the big steamships that we're going to have at some point now let's have a look at my industry zone there so we have a lot of furnaces now in that case of course we still have a surplus iron production. That is a surprise to me. Can we take several of them? I would like to combine this with my other islands. With that, we even have a surplus of 10 still for the coal. And we probably also have, yep, a very high surplus of iron. So I can still actually go ahead with more furnaces. Or, and that's the easier thing, of course, we boost them. We boost them with electricity. And that is my main target here. We got a bit of steel beams in again. So I would like to continue all the way up. There is a bunch of roads here that no one really wants in this world. And let's just continue to make this as straight as possible. And then all the way here, this should be possible. Let's actually have it over there. We will need to cut this road there for a second. And here, let's keep let's keep the, the green area to the left as little as possible because I'm not going to squeeze something in here. And with that, we've actually made the connection with our industry zone. Hooray. And here, let's actually make it double right away so we can finish that road for good. And I don't need to redo it again at a later time. Yeah, we can actually just go over that then anyway. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's build the oil wells that we can have and Panagos is getting its first oil production up and running pretty soon now. A few steel beams are still missing and then we can start with that. Um, we're also going to of course boost our steel works with that. I might consider adding a next another one here actually as well just because we do have that surplus production of steel and I would really like to use it. Also I just love the sights of steel works in the morning sun. Of course, having the trains then here is fine. What we still need is also preparing, but well, I'm waiting for my resources to come in. Uh, what we still need, of course, is a, an electrical power plant. And this is also something I need to pro uh, provide now. And we're going to have it as central as possible to get in as much as possible into one of them. And there it is. And as we can see, yep, almost the whole industry zone to the north into the south is being used by that. This is not ideal though yet. So we're probably going to need a second one a bit further down or I'm just going to place it now further down. Now for starters, let's actually go ahead and have our first power plant here um, where I can blueprint it for now. And the second one we're going to have then up here in this area because this is a pretty big industry zone. We're going to need two of them. I cannot make it with one or cannot make it work with one, right? Having the other one up here would be then fine. I still have a bit of room here that I can maneuver around my my production. Oh, come on. Is there a bigger attack somewhere? No, it's once again just one of those patrols. Actually, let's keep my ships over there for now, right? I'm not expecting a big attack right now. We can see that on the map quite clearly too. We have the steel beams, by the way. I should really start with the oil production. Hooray, there it is. Costing me quite a bit of attractiveness once more. But in that case, that's of course going to be absolutely worth it. As we're now pumping out the oil. Someone also make sure that everything is in order. While the other ones are starting to load the train now. Before the train can depart, however, we still also will need that oil harbor. Let's build it. And with that, we do have the connection now made between my oil harbor all the way up here now to my oil refinery. And as we can see, the loading process is starting. It's taking a bit of time 
as it's going to be a lot of oil. Productivity goes up to probably 400% on this one, and we can then even boost this further. It does not even give me a penalty. We might have a look at that as well. Let's also have those connections finished. For this connection into the upper power plant, we're actually going to use one of the triple roads that we already have here. This is not something that I usually like to do nowadays anymore because it doesn't look very realistic or anything like that. But in that case, I'm actually pretty confident with this layout. Let's get it all the way over here to this power plant then into that. And with that, we can boost the whole upper or the northern industrial zone. Um, also, all the swing machines that we have, all the glass works, especially all the steel works, and also my brass factories. Let's have the connection then once again finished in this area. And this can actually just stay fine as is. It also just casually gets in the southern district then of the central park, uh, where we can electrify that as well. That is a nice side effect then for the future. Now, this leaves me with some room actually that we have available that's pretty great um can we make a connection over there this would be important yep we can actually make this um if i fix this connection here once more we can actually make one spot there right where i can have a road then going over and this will make sure that we can electrify this whole side over there and let's just see how far it goes it really goes all the way up there so this whole side we can also electrify just fine that's two very powerful power plants that we have now. This one here is not only going to electrify the whole southern industrial zone. Nope, it also electrifies the harbor area then, right? So I'm just making sure here that this goes out as much as possible, as we can see, so that we have the big steam shipyards then in this region too. So that's the important thing about this power plant. Let's make sure that this also gets its proper um, connection. For that, once again, we're going to have uh, use. We're going to use a triple road for that. Let's get rid of this tra uh, road system there for now. Um, here is then the entrance, and here is also then a nice little plaza, more or less. We need to make sure that we connect both sides of the power plant, and then once more, let's get rid of this road there. Let's make the connection going away from the the central tracks, and it goes then all the way over here, connecting that power plant just fine. Here we can have another road then again, and here we can connect the glassworks with uh, the, it should actually work. Yep, there is a crossing, there is a crossing now, and it connects it just fine. All right, do we have oil inbound? That's the big question here. No oil yet, where is it? There still seems to be something wrong here with the track system. Nope, it's still loading. There's also no problem here. We're going to finish in the meantime though, the parallel track system. So this continues all the way now here. We make sure that we have a bit of room beside. Then it goes here. Continues like that. Ah, we still have some steel beams. And poof, we can actually make the connection all the way down to the harbor area. Of course, from time to time, we do need to make some inbound connection where trains can also change tracks if they need to. We can change that around later again, just in case. And of course, with the double track system, we ensure that we can have as many trains on this as possible. And that's what I would like to see here. Lots of trains and there is already the first one coming out then. I guess I just seen it. Hmm, interesting bug as it disappeared again, right in front of my eyes. Another very important thing that I would like to do now, and that's why we leave a bit of room beside, we're going to add some walls, of course, to block off any unwanted um, visitors. Actually, here in the open, it doesn't make sense. But once we enter the city compound, the city area, I definitely want to have some walls around the tracks to protect my people, of course, from yeah, very painful deaths. Painful and sudden deaths that you can have here if you're not careful enough. And we're going to make this on both sides through the rioters. I don't care about them at this point. Just make sure that you stay out of my tracks, please. I don't want to have any bloodshed here. Here on that side, we can probably stop it somewhere here then. And on that side, it's entering the industry zone, right? So we probably also not need to continue with the tracks and forever. As an industry zone, it's fine to keep it open. Let's build all of them. That's going to be quite costly, 22,000. And it's, yeah, pushing me actually to the next level there as well 
to a quaint capital. And with that, we also have our our track system then um, yeah, surrounded by, by walls. All right, are you disappearing on me? No, this is not disappearing on me this time. And there we have it now. It's actually two trains right away on the way. They're actually also sticking to traffic rules, right? Only using one train, a track system to go into one direction and the trains automatically choose the other track if they need to go to the other direction. Uh, the city is coming to life more. Here we now have then the, the changes, right? We could then have also have a gate along the the tracks here. I mean, it's it's chaos over there. We're still going to continue building, of course. People are very angry at us for some reasons. It's the working conditions, most likely. Please stay clear. Poof, you lose your donkey there rather quickly. So the, the slums, as I would like to call it, the outer skirts of Panagos. There is a bit of chaos over there, but really in the grand scheme of things, the city is rather quiet, right? Uh, we really only have a few rides out there. They're probably pretty angry because there is a, a main track system now going through the neighborhood. Probably don't like it. We can argue like that. That's probably the main cause. There is also a train already coming out from the oil harbor again. We already have some 48 tons in. And as we can see, it's automatically using then the right tracks as well. So we don't have any collisions. This just adds a bit more steam now. Let's build the power plant number one. This is going to be exciting. I'm really excited about this because I always love when the industry zone is getting boosted by 100% right from scratch. Um, we have one power plant. The other one I probably need to wait there a bit more. Yes, for five more tons of steel beams. We're getting them in though. And there's a lot of oil now coming in. We might also upgrade this one then soon. 100 tons in, very good. There's also a new overlay now where you can see where you have occupied tracks. I like that a lot. Makes it a bit easier for the planning process. And actually there should be a train now coming out despite this one here being blocked. Could we not make it like so? Hmm, this is not blocked. I would like to make sure, yep, that the blockage only lasts until this point. So that there is actually a train coming out. But I think there was a train coming out. And now we are down to zero oil again. And it disappeared on me again. Uh, something is a bit finicky here right now. It's okay. Let's build the second power plant over there. This is the more important one because this is also boosting then this whole upper area in this in this one too. And in the midst of the night, the train with the oil is also coming out on its way now to my power plant. And we can also see this on the furnaces then 100% right now. The oil is being unloaded. And poof, there we have it. Electricity, 200% production increase for my industry zone. We'll need to update our warehouses with that as the traffic is going to increase from now on and we're producing basically double the steel. That's it for now. We have electrified our city, built the first track system and continue onwards in the next episode. Stay tuned.